punctured my lung, dubbed my collarbone, broke my leg. There wasn't much left of me anyway. As we was going round, when I also had a heart attack in front of us, one broke his leg and we had a seven horse pile up in the arm. But what you've got to imagine is, you've just hit a brick wall at 35, 40 mile an hour. It was just like a full head on crash. Funny enough, I'd never ever rode a horse before I went into racing. I actually didn't even know anything about horses or horse racing. So God knows how I've ended up in it. You know, can you say I'm a superstitious or aren't I superstitious? But what I do was, if I rode a winner and whatever I wore, I'd always wear an item of that clothing the next day. And then I was going through a phase where I was riding a winner every day and I thought, I'm going to change my clothes somewhere along the line. <laughs> the boys are going to start giving me a bit of grip. Just had all the news about the hills, Brett. We we're finally getting a bit of justice. I was thinking I'd love to win this race tomorrow. I'd love to win it because uh, I want to dedicate it for the Justice 96. When I got to Doncaster and I was riding the horse, there were red and white colours. Thinking, oh my God, how fitting is this red and white Liverpool? I, I got to the last fairlong, last half of fairlong of the race, and then I could see Martin Dwyer, another scout, and he supports Everton, and he was coming up at the other side of me, and I'm thinking to myself, this wasn't in my speech, this wasn't in my speech, and the next thing I've ended up getting funky, I end up winning a neck. It was an emotional moment, really, because everything come together, and it was something that I really wanted to do. It was embarrassing on my side. This was at Newbury, and I didn't realise because I was so young and green that they'd go to the middle of the track because the ground was softer. Well, I rode at Newbury on firm ground, but I was automatically thinking that they'd go down the middle. So I ended up turning into the straight at Newbury when I was a kid and went down the middle on my own. And I'm thinking, I'm winning this race. I'm winning, there's nobody here, there's nobody here. But it was all over the other side, and I have not seen them because I made the decision to go down the middle. Horses ridden in a race, maybe over 10,000. So it's a single one horse out would be unfair. I like a horse with the same DNA as myself. It might be that good, but they try hard and they've got good determination and want to win a battle.